Hi Kingdom, welcome back. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, so I want to talk about something. When you are divorcing a narcissist, you have got to, you got to fast and pray. You have to fast and pray because as we know, when it comes to narcissism, narcissists always have to win. They have to be the one to win. Even though it's not about winning or losing, to them, they have to win. They have to win the kids. They have to win the house. They have to win the cars. All things except the kids, things that are tangible, things that can be replaced. But to them, it's about winning. It's about you not getting anything that you deserve. They don't want you to have anything. They don't want you to get anything. Even though both of you worked just the same, even, even though both of you contribute just the same. And even if you didn't work, you still contributed. Maybe you stayed home and took care of the kids. Um, you, you cleaned the house. You did all the other, you did grocery shopping, all the things that um, go along with um, having a household and making it run. They will not give you credit for that. And when you are divorcing a narcissist, they are going to try to strip you of everything that you deserve. Now, in my opinion, when there's a divorce, in my opinion, everything gets split down the middle. Everything tangibly. You add up everything. If everything has to sell, you get half. They get half. You go your way. You live your life. They go their way. They live their life. But that is not the case. I know in my case, because I can only speak from my experiences, and I get a lot of comments saying other things about things that I don't even know what they're talking about. These experiences and the, the, the things that I'm talking about with narcissism are things that I personally experienced myself in my life. So when we are dealing with narcissists with divorce, their job in their mind is they are going to make sure that you are upset at every moment that you are not getting anything that you deserve. They don't want you to have anything. They don't want to split anything down the middle. They don't want to be fair. They want to come from an ugly space. They want to come from a greedy space. Because anyone that will try to steal someone's parents' home that they lived in, for five years and then at the divorce say that they don't know anything about that home because your name is on the home. This, this happened to me. I've said this before. Come on. There's something definitely wrong. If you're trying to steal another person's home that you had nothing to do with, that it didn't even, you weren't even in the country when the home was purchased, there's something wrong. But this is the things that they do. They are greedy people. They are money hungry people. And they're going to step on you. They're going to squash you. They're going to throw you away just to get a dime, just to get a dollar. But what they don't realize and what they don't know is that same way, whatever it is that they did that they trying to rob you or they did rob you, they don't realize and they don't understand that they're going to lose more. Because when you take from someone and, it, and it's from come not coming from a good place and you try to steal from from someone and you try to bring someone down, all it does is lead, for the, lead to their own destruction, excuse me, their own destruction. That's what they do. But they, they want to bring you pain. They want for you 
to not be happy. They don't want you to go, to go on with your life. They want to go on with their life and be happy with their new supply or new, in my case, new supplies because he had more than one. I don't know how he had time. I don't know where he, what, I don't know what they're thinking because there's definitely something wrong there. Oh boy, I don't even know. I can't even imagine. I'm so glad. Listen, I am so happy that I'm no longer in that. And I don't have to put up with the inadequacies of that foolish person. But in doing a divorce, they will 100% strip, try to strip you of everything. So you've got to stay prayed up. You've got to fast. You've got to stay in a level space that no matter what they try, it is not going to work. No weapon formed against me or my children shall prosper and it will always boomerang and return to sender. Even if you're not going through a divorce and you're going through a separation and you guys live together for a long time, it's the same thing. They want everything. They want to steal everything from you. They want to take everything from you. But guess what? They could take a house. They could take a car. They can take whatever they want tangibly. But what they can't take is your spirit. What they can't take is the God within you. This is what they don't understand. That if we are children of God, God is going to, whatever, that car that was taken away, guess what God's going to do? God's going to replace that car with a better car. God's going to replace that car with a different car. There's no, nothing that they can do to you that I'm telling you that if you stay prayed up and you keep God in your life, there isn't anything that they can do to bring you down because God is always going to lift you up. Even if they try to bring you down, God is going to take you higher and higher and higher. And God is going to let them see and know that you have the blessing and that the blessings came through you and that no matter what they do to you, you are always going to elevate because God is going to elevate you. And he is going to make sure that he is camped his angels round and about you and understand and know that. So when you're divorcing a, a narcissist, stay prayed up. They will try all the shenanigans in the world. They will go to court, put on a a, a, a pretty shirt or a button up shirt, fold their hands and talk soft. And um, maybe the judge will even believe them, but the judge is not God. Uh, let me say it again. The judge is not God. So God has the final say. You have got to stay in a space where you are trusting God. Even when it, I, I'm talking from experience, even when it doesn't look like things are going to go your way, I am here to tell you in the end, things are going to go your way, not because of the winning, but because it is right. Because it is just in God's eyes and he is going to cover you. He is going to protect you and whatever is for you, he, that person can't take away. And if they do take it away, like I said, God is going to replace it. So when you're separating or divorcing a narcissist, I want you to put your big boy and big girl pants on your, you have to prepare for a battle but the battle is not yours. It is God's. And if you stay prayed up, you stay fasting, you stay trusting God, there isn't anything that will not come and work in your behalf if you put God as the foundation. So they can try whatever they want to try. So divorcing a narcissist is probably for me, one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do. But I stand before you today <laughs> happy and content and at peace, knowing that everything worked out and that the narcissist actually did me a favor by trying to bring me down. The new supply did me a favor by trying to hurt me and my kids. Tried everything. They, When I tell you they tried everything, everything, and it didn't work. It failed. And I have to tell you, if they're still trying, 
that's going to fail too. Because that man upstairs loves me and my children more than anything in this world. And I want you to have that same mindset. So cover yourself, cover your children, pray over you, pray over your children. And no matter what they do, no matter what they try, God is going to elevate you. God is going to take you to a higher plane. God is going to bless you abundantly above and beyond because of the treatment that they are doing to you. I want you to understand. I want you to know, and I want you to believe that. So kingdom, let me know if you agree. Let me know if you've experienced this. Um, if you want to connect for a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, I would love to connect with you. I'm going to put my email in this, the description area. Um, Remember that you are a part of the kingdom. Remember that God loves you more than anything in this world. You are the apple in his eye. And I am so, so happy to have you as part of this kingdom, this family of this kingdom. So I appreciate you. I love you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful and amazing and blessed NART free day. Bye-bye.